All right then, so we've talked about this whole idea of sessions to keep track of variables between different pages as the user goes to different pages on a website. And we know that these session variables are stored on the server, not on a user's computer. Now, another way to persist data and keep track of it between these different pages is to use cookies. The difference is this time cookies are stored on the user's computer, not on the server. So no doubt you've seen on pretty much every website you visit these days that you have to accept some kind of cookie notification that pops up. And that pop up was essentially asking for your permission to store data on your computer in the form of cookies. And that data is meant to enhance your experience on the website. It's data that might be used between different pages as you browse, maybe to identify if you've been on a particular page before or maybe added an item to your basket before. Now, a lot of people prefer sessions over cookies. And in some cases, that is better because you're keeping the data hidden on the server rather than on a user's computer. So for sensitive data especially, sessions could be considered safer. But cookies do also have their uses and they can be useful in other cases such as content marketing to users based on past behavior on the website or something like that. For example, a guy going to an e-commerce website for clothing looks at guy's clothes. If we drop a cookie on that person's computer, the next time he visits, if we detect that cookie, we can gear our different products towards him. So show him similar items that he's looked at before on the homepage. So that's the use of cookies. So anyway, enough of me rattling on. How do we actually create a cookie? Well, first, what I'm going to do is come to the sandbox page. And in this little form down here, I'm going to just paste in a bit of code. It's just a select field and the name is gender. And we've got two options, male and female. So we're going to select our gender on this form as well as our name. OK, now what we're going to do when we submit this and we run this file again, we're adding this as a session variable, the name, but we're also going to now set a cookie for the gender. So it doesn't have to be under session start because this is not to do with sessions anymore. It's still going to be inside this if statement because we still need to check if the form has been submitted. So cookie for gender. OK, so the way we set a cookie is by using the function set cookie like that. Now we give the cookie a name. I'm going to call it gender. And the second argument is going to be the value that we apply to that cookie. Now we want the value to be the underscore post, and then we're going to get the gender like so. Remember, that's this thing right here. So if we select male, then it's going to be male. If we select female, it's going to be female. So they're the first two arguments. There is a third argument, and this is when the cookie is going to expire because they don't last forever cookies. If you go on a website, it might last 20 days, 30 days, whatever. But we have to set an expiry. So what I'm going to do is say, OK, well, get the current time and add on in seconds 86400. That's the number of seconds in a day. So a day from now, I want the cookie to expire. So this is going to last a day and it's going to set that cookie and store it on the user's computer now. OK, so then if we go to another page, we might want to detect that cookie. So I'm going to try and get that cookie in the header, which is on every other page in this project. So I'm going to come down here and say get cookie. And then I'm going to create a variable called gender and set it equal to dollar sign underscore cookie, because this is a super global in PHP. And then we want the gender like so. Now, if they've not set this and we don't have a gender, then we need a fallback option. So again, like we did up here, we're going to use the null coalesce operator. So question mark, question mark. And then we'll just say unknown if we don't have one. All right. So that's if we load the page without coming from this sandbox and we've not filled in a gender if we don't have that cookie. Right. So when we load this page, gender is now either going to be equal to the cookie value that we set previously, or if it's not set, it's going to be unknown. Now we want to output this somewhere. So we're going to output it down in the template on the header and we'll do it underneath the name. I'm just going to copy this right here and paste it down below. And what I'm going to do is take out hello. I'm going to put the gender in brackets. So open brackets there and close brackets there. So that's not inside the PHP code there. That's outside it so that the gender will be inside the brackets. And this time we want here 
the gender and not the name okay so then let's give this a whirl save that and we're going to refresh first of all i'm going to say sean and i'm male so submit and now we can see that right here it says sean male now if i go back and say crystal and this time female submit that overrides the cookie right so when we reset it over here when we do the form again and submit it we're resetting the cookie so it looks at our current cookie we've already got a gender cookie on our computer because i did sean first of all but it overrides that that value that we currently have so next time we try to access it it's the newer value okay so there we go that's how we create cookies and that's how we access them as well